Well, you know the iconic flavors of Fox and Park soda, cherry, white birch, and more. Yeah, they have those fun ones, I too. I love right? them. The clever oh. names. Now, Fox and Park is making those flavors a bit harder. Mm. Marcy Jones is live at Thimble Island Brewery to tell us all about the brand new team up with the popular soda company. So, Marcy, what is this product? Is it a hard beer soda or liquor in soda? Yes, it's not a soft soda and it's a hard, it's a hard soda. Nothing soft about it. We're so excited. We've got two flavors, guys. Hold them up. We've got Jay and Justin. We've got birch and white birch and cream soda. I've tried both already, duh, because I've been here for five minutes. Absolutely delicious. So the cream soda is a real true cream soda taste. You already know what that's like. The white birch, in my opinion, tastes like the white conversation hearts that you get at Valentine's Day. So good. A little bit of wintergreen in there. Absolutely delicious. I need to know how we came up with this collab. Well, I mean, Jay and I have actually been working with each other, I think, about two years at this point, trying to put something together. Okay. And uh, the timing was right about six, seven months ago that we began the process of actually doing some experimentation and right. putting some into the, uh, the tap room to see uh, what the perception was. However, we agreed that we wouldn't use the Fox and Park names. So anyone that was visiting Thimble Island and they were drinking something that tastes like white birch, well, it was Fox and right, Park. Right, yeah. And we wanted to see what the reception was. And reception was fantastic. So, like, awesome. Jay and I decided to kind of move along with the relationship and kind of get this thing going. I love it. Um, and just, you know, just to cover some stuff about the process. Process too. I know a lot of questions have been coming yes, up about that. Yes, I know. That. You've got a lot of community reaction from this. People are really excited. So first off, it's gluten-free. So okay. I think everyone needs to know that there's no malt base. It's actually made with just cane sugar. Mm -hmm. And the way we produce it is we actually ferment a sugar wash with just cane sugar, high alcohol content, okay. and then we water it down to the proper alcohol content. And then we put in what I call the secret sauce, which is yep. Fox and Park's recipe. Yep. That everything Don't that worry. Our lips Jane are sealed. <laughs> no one is going to snitch here. That we've been working on and just trying to get things perfected because some of the things that happen at their plant don't necessarily transition over to our Definitely. plant. Definitely, yeah. So every recipe has to be tuned properly, and right. we got everything perfected, which yeah. we're really happy Even with. Even though you guys are both in the beverage industries, there's definitely some differences between soda companies and breweries. Now, I got to ask you, so you're known, both of you guys are known for your flavors and your products, but how, how did you come up with the cream soda and the white birch? It must have been hard to pick just two, right? Yes, yeah, so white birch is our number one seller by far in, in Connecticut, and cream is, is a clear Close second, a yeah, and yeah. you know, so so those two we figured, let's get those out there where people know they love this actual yeah. soda. Pair it with alcohol. How could you go wrong? Right. So let's talk about the alcohol content of it. And I, I have to say, you guys, if you're not a person that likes a strong alcohol flavor, this is for you because you really don't. You can't. It doesn't taste like a mixed drink where you can be like that's specifically the alcohol in it. Right. Yeah. So we have it at 4.5 percent, which is probably like a Budweiser. Okay. You know, um, not a light beer, but so it, it's enough to get you, you know, a nice little buzz. But it's enough to break the ice, exactly. have a conversation, <laughs> have a nice Friday. Woo! We're standing right now next to this is the. The canning machine? This is our canning line. Okay. So we're actually very proud of this. This is one of our new, newer pieces of equipment that we purchased uh, about a year and a half ago that uh, we definitely are going to need for more Fox and Park capacity yes. and, uh, and as well as Thimble Island capacity as we continue to grow. Mm -hmm. uh, but this machine uh, will basically can any different can size for us. Um, can uh, uh, anything that's carbonated, non-carbonated, so allows us to be as versus possible with any beverage that we want to produce. That's awesome. I love that. Now, I have to ask, because this is such a successful collaboration you guys are sold out currently but there are more yeah so the, uh, just kind of the like yeah there's yeah. more in the works and I <laughs> don't the, the, panic yeah the, the perception like we did not realize that the people were gonna buy as much as they did yeah um, when Jay and I were starting it's like what's well, March it's like it's gonna be slow people usually don't start drinking a lot yeah. till summertime you guys were and, just humble guys hanging out we no were idea. wrong we were completely yeah. wrong so yeah. it's uh, we, 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 <laughs> we sold 1500 cases in under seven days Wow uh, people have been out of stock and ran out we do have a little bit left at the brewery we can also fill some off but our draft we system. were promised that so okay. back off okay, you guys. okay. Yeah. we're gonna give it to them <laughs> yeah. Uh, but we, we are working on making more. So just to let everyone know, it's out, if right. it is out of stock, it's coming back. It's going to take, you know, probably two to three weeks, and we will have more in the market. Yes. And I think the real big question here is, is like, what flavor are we going to do next? And we got to find out. I know. Like, you just took everyone. the words out of yeah. my mouth. Here, I'm going to yeah. give you the mic. Right, here we go. Right, right, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> what flavor is next? Are we going to make, let's make them wait. Let's make them wait. That's what we call a tease in the TV business. Come on, you guys. All right, we're going to see you guys in just a few minutes. We've got a whole second segment. We're going to walk around. We're going to try some more stuff. Can't wait. Are they looking for investors, Marcy? 
Yes. They, also, Scott, don't you think you would look so nice in this vest? Absolutely. <laughs> I saw it and I was like, that is so Scott Haney. Yeah. <laughs> We're absolutely. so intrigued with what oh, makes this hard, by the way. The fermentation, it's so interesting. Yeah, it's a really interesting when you hear process. Hard soda, yeah. Very Stick cool. with us, you'll get more answers. Okay, right. thanks, Mars. <laughs> See you in a little bit.